okay guys so in this video i want to talk about astrology in regards to in connection to anatomy okay so anatomy in regards to astrology okay so okay we all got a form we're spiritual beings beings having a human experience and with such we got 3d bodies human bodies okay we're humanoids okay in this lifetime if you're on planet earth listening to me you are a humanoid you're a spiritual being a body of energy in a body of flesh okay um so you got eyes you got nose you got lips you got a face you got arms you got fingers toes legs well okay Except for, you know, those who, you know, um, are armless, you know, without legs. But outside of that, generally speaking, for argument's sake, you got legs, you got, you know, um, knees, thighs, butt cheeks, hips, you know, you got a waistline, you got boobs, you got, you know, um yeah you got hair you yeah other than people who got alopecia but like i said generally speaking yeah okay um what determines you know the shape of your face um like we got different ethnic groups and we know that genealogy in, in regards to like your ancestry your parents blah 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 has you know to do with your hair texture your skin um color um but within the subgroups okay if within like for example the you know those who are african descent the african community you know what determines like how coily or how curly your hair is you know um like let's say for example i don't want to confuse anybody okay okay you got melanated skin you got within the range of let's say 4c hair texture okay what determines how that hair texture looks um what determines like what range or what um what tone skin color you got what determines the shape of your nose the you know the shape of your eyes your lips and you know the length of your hair because the truth is um honestly speaking yeah though genealogy got something to do with you know how long your hair grows um astrology got a lot to do with that too like in regards to your frequencies and energies your placements and your aspects because like the 12 houses each represent a part on your body an aspect of your body okay your physical body and your spiritual your spiritual body okay and it, it really explains how they gel together okay how well or not so well okay and then you got the celestial bodies like mercury venus mars um jupiter saturn pluto you uh they say uranus neptune yada 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 of course also the asteroids also the moon all of those you know and you know like your north node south node chiron you know Lilith, those you know add to you know that which is us okay in a literal sense and a figurative sense okay so um so in in in, in some in some way like everything is everything just understand that everything is everything part is your ancestry part is your geographical location location where you were born on planet earth part is where you currently live now part is um the time of your birth time uh, part is um your experiences whilst growing up which affects how you treat and groom yourself part is um so so much so much 
So that's why I say everything is everything. But this is specifically talking about the connectivity, you know, between astrology and anatomy, like um, your physical build, your physical makeup in regards to your astrological aspects. I hope I'm not losing anyone here. Okay, so um, yeah. So like even with age, like, you know, like, you see some people they seem to age so gracefully like you know like they're barely aging at all and then you see some people they seem to be aging rapidly and that is like that th like that like has you know greatly i feel like astrology has a greater effect um on you know how well people age i i i i see that more than genealogy or anything else you know, or even how people carry themselves. I feel like, you know, um, it just really doesn't matter. Like, some people, like, the older they get, they seem as though they're aging in, in reverse. And some people, like, the older they get, they it's like as though they're, like, the same age. Some people, like, you know, um, like, they seem to, like, like, some people say age horribly. Like, um, like, they're 18, they look 35, blah, blah, blah. But it's just their makeup, their frequencies and their energies, you know, their astrological placements. Like, where, you, where is your first house through to your 12th house? Where is, you know, your, where your, you know, your plant, planter bodies, okay? So, like, more than, you know, whether you were born in, you know, a wealthy family or, a, you know, you know, warm or cold region of the world or you know um you live a comfort comfortable life you know or you have a lot of money to spend on your skin or your hair those don't really have anything well they do attribute to your overall experience as a human being and how you look but mostly it's those aspects and those things that you cannot manipulate like like your natal aspects like you can't change where you were born, when you were born, the time you were born, you know, you can't change that shit, <laughs> you know. So like mostly it's nothing that you can change or nothing you can do anything about. And in a way that is good because then like all poor people would be fucking ugly, right? Yeah. And all wealthy people, rich people would be beautiful, right? And that just, just doesn't seem fair. And the universe knows that. And that's why most, like, 75% of how we look is pretty much our natal aspects. And then, like, the rest is genealogy and, you know, social conditioning and or upbringings and, like, socioeconomic background. Like, just, like, 25% for those. That's how of a massive role astrology plays in one's life okay so like um like i was just like watching a video and um about the kardashians and like it was like so funny um which i want to uh, talk about them a bit like in regards to you know like you know i really admire the way in which like chris jenner um grew her kids like you know sometimes and a lot of people got a lot of shit to say nobody's perfect but I feel like she, you know, gave them a beautiful, um, stable foundation, and that's what parents should do. Like, children are inheritance and not inheritance, and, you know, I feel like she set them on the path of, you know, like, yeah, we know, you know, they, they had money, blah, 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 but they could have squandered or wasted that and, you know, become, like, really poor, but they really, you know, they're business people, and I really, you know, respect that, you know, you know any mother because like we don't have many of those moms and you know especially in my bash in the black community especially within the black community because i see a lot of black mothers they waste their time you know when they and then they you know have a bunch of kids and expect you know the kids to like you know become pilots doctors lawyers you know all of that to make them look good but also to take care of them and it's it's not that way it's like that's like inverse that's opposite that's contradictory to how it should be like the younger should not 
be responsible for the older you know you got to set a foundation as a parent so that you can retire you can you know that you can you got enough funds to take care of yourself well enough funds to give your kids inheritances and for them to you know be able to care for you with your own money not their money so we got a lot of loose parents you know in the world that just needs a you know bitch wake up call and not just within the black community i'm not being you know prejudiced but mostly within the black community okay and you know i was watching i was like looking at a clip because it popped up in my feed you know um this youtube channel i don't remember oh Keeping up with the Kardashians. That's the name of the, the channel. I'll just remember. Um, and um, I think that's their channel, I think. Because, like, that would be copyright infringement if someone else, like, created a YouTube channel under that name. Um, but, like, you know, like, it was, like, there's this video that was recently posted with, you know, Courtney um, taking Chloe to the doctor, you know, instead of Scott. But this, like, that's, like, an old clip. But I'm just, just trying to... Oh my god, my phone. I'm trying to paint an analogy here. Like, I just don't want to answer this. Okay, I gotta take it. Okay, it just stopped doing it. Okay. I want to paint an analogy here because, like, you know, Kurt, uh, Courtney was like, um, something about, like, Chris's VJJ and, you know, having, you know, giving birth to six kids. I don't like. Um, you'd be so surprised, like, this wasn't to be shady, you'd be so surprised that Chris's JJ is, like, tighter than all her daughters. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying, because, like, a lot of people, they think that, okay, women who give birth or, or who have given birth, they think that, um, the birthing process, you know, affects how the woman's vagina feels, and that's a major, major, uh, no-no, and that's, like, um, I don't know how to call that. I'm debunking that because that's not fucking true <laughs> on so many levels. That's not true. Okay. So like even your VJJ and your D, the shape, the length, the size, how it feels, that's your natal aspects too. Okay. So yeah. So even with the birthing experience of having six kids or two kids or three kids, it doesn't matter, 10 kids, that doesn't really affect how your VJJ feels or how your penis looks or you don't see well i'm talking about birthing process so the jj so like it doesn't matter it's just really your natal aspects period dot and that goes to show that some of the five person of you is you know your natal aspects and then like 25 percent like all the other shit like your experiences socioeconomic background and blah 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 yeah and like even you know debunking and debunking like people talking about like how often you have sex will affect how your vjj feels that's not true either it's just pretty much frequencies and energies because like people may think that you know because a particular woman is a prostitute she got this big nana that's not true you'd be surprised that she got like her nana is like way tighter than yours so I'm just like debunking them stuff because it's like knowledge is power, it's mind over matter, and mind is pretty much frequencies and energies, and it's just pretty much who you are energetically as a person. Namaste.